In this video, I'm going to show you how to write inner join SQL query using the Vice Pack in Fabric Notebook. So let's get started. Now, the Vice Pack is one of the Python libraries that provide an interface for programming Apache Spark job. So let's see how we can use that in the Fabric Notebook. Now, before we get started, let me just explain what we have on the screen. In this case, I've got this data in the lake house and of course we can see the dimension tables and of course i have the fact table so we have so many dimension table in this cell we define a df variable and of course we initialize the instance of the spark module and of course we're passing the select star from wh underscore data underscore lake house dot dbo underscore f transaction now this is going to be the fact table and of course we have the dimension tables and of course, we just limit the rows to just 10 rows. And of course, we display the content of the data frame. Now, I'm going to scroll down and let's see what we intend to do. We want to write a SQL query using the inner join to calculate the total sales by product and the stock. So I'm going to click on this add cell. And then we can begin to write. Now, the first thing I want to do is to define a variable that I'm going to store the SQL code inside. I'm going to call it on total sales by product and um, store. Okay. And then just put in the equal to. Now, to write the SQL in the Spark, I'm going to open three double quotes. So, three double quotes. And of course, don't forget three double quotes. And I'm going to call into line two, and then I can begin to write the SQL query. So we'll actually select the product column and then the store. And I'm going to scroll up. Now in the fact table, we do have the sales amount column that we want to aggregate. So let's scroll down. Now I'm going to use the sum function, open the bracket, and I want to call the sales amount. Of course, we want to alias as total sales okay and then click enter now we'll select from the dbo underscore dim product so dbo underscore dim product dimension table and of course i'm going to alias the name of that table using the p and i'm going to come back to this product column and just type in p dot just to provide the proper name convention and just click enter. I can use the inner join. Now for the inner join, I want to reference the F transaction fact table. So F transaction, oh, excuse me, DBO underscore F transaction. And of course, I'm going to alias this as F and I'm going to come back to the sales amount and alias as F dot sales amount column. And I want to use the on operation. Now, first and foremost, we want to access the product key, which is the primary key in the DIM product table. So I'm going to say P dot product key, which is the primary key in the DIM product table, equal to F dot product key in the fact table. So product key, okay? And then click enter. So for the second part, we want to undo the store. So inner join, and I'm going to call the DBO underscore DIM store dimension table now that's exactly what we have here dbu underscore dim store and of course this is the dbu underscore dim product so i'm going to alias this as s and i'm going to come back to this store tm column and alias as s and let's continue so i'm going to use the on operation now in this case we want to focus on the store key in the f transaction fact table which is the foreign key and of course the primary key in the store dim store table so i can say f dot store key which is the foreign key equal to s dot store key which is the primary key and then let's click enter and then we can group by the two columns so p dot product column comma and the s dot store column and then we can even order by so oh, this is store Okay, click enter. I'm going to order by and one order by the sum of the F dot sales amount column. Okay, and then let's order descending. All right, let's go through the code to be sure everything is fine. First, we selected the two 
tables the product and of course the stock tables and of course we aggregate using the sum function the sales amount and of course we alias as total sales and then we select from the dbu underscore dim product dimension table and of course we alias that particular table with p and then we use the inner join and of course we specify the db underscore f transfer with the fact table and of course we alias with f and we use the on operation and of course we specify the product key equal to the same rows of the product key in the f fact table, which is the in this case the foreign key and this is the primary key and then for the other part the store we also call the inner join dbu underscore dim store and then we alias as s and we use the on keyword again f the foreign key the store key equal to the primary key in the store key that is the s and then we group by the two columns that we specified here the p dot product and s dot store and then we just order by the sum of sales amount and that's going to be the code. Now, the next one to do is to initialize the Spark SQL module again. So I'm going to just type df and equal to spark.sql module and then open the bracket. Now, inside the bracket, I'm just going to pass in the name of this variable total sales by product and store. I'm going to just paste here and oops, control Z. Okay, control V. Okay, let me just get rid of this. Okay and then let's get it done okay and finally we can display the content of the df this data frame and let's click on run and let's scroll down absolutely cool there we go so we can see the output we can see the results so we have the total sales by product and store now we can easily tell that the largest total sales was achieved when we have products that equals to furnitures and store that equal to EB, and that returned one million nine fifty six thousand six zero seven. And the amazing part is that I can click on this particular object, the chart, and see the chart. There we go. So we can see the cluster bar chart, which is quite amazing. I love this functionality. And of course, we can see the list of the products, and of course, we can see the volume. And we can even click on this customized chart. I can switch from the bar chart to clustered column chart. And I'm going to scroll down and click on apply. And there we go. So we have the clustered column chart, quite amazing. I can even switch to the line chart, just scroll down, click on apply. And there we go. This is super cool. So this is basically how we can use the Spark SQL to write SQL query in the fabric notebook i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like share and comment thank you and bye for now cheers